Turning off Wrath of the Righteous. Just a little ASMR intro for you. All right, let's get started on the actual video itself. Sometimes I just do things to amuse myself. Let's uh, head off towards the Ravaged Longhouse. I believe we still need to rest. Do we? Yeah, we definitely have some Abyssal Corruption kicking around. Let's see if anything's happening at the Citadel. Do a quick rest, and then we will head off to the uh, the house where Arilu formerly lived. And where all of this bad began. All because of the Sarkorians. It's really all their fault if you think about it. Oh! Commander, please forgive this sudden visit. Anevia sent a messenger for me asking to come immediately. There she is. Um. Oh. Greetings, Commander. Revered Cleric. A muscular, black-skinned man wearing Hell Knight's armor is walking next to Anevia. Despite the difference in height, he's obviously nervous around the delicate woman, looking around and biting his lip. Allow me to introduce Hell Knight Ambassador of the Order of the Nail, Trevor Vanek. The Knight salutes. Greetings on behalf of the Order. Forgive me, I can't stay. Duty calls. I have a pressing errand from headquarters. Yes, it's uh, very urgent. Soziel is silent. His lips are pressed together. He doesn't move, not even to breathe. Seemingly, the cleric is staring at the visitor. Sir, name is Trevor Vanek. That's right, I serve the cause of the Crusade. It must be true. We have to take our guest's word for it. He has no documents or insignia confirming his identity. What? What are you getting at? Nothing. Nothing at all. And Nevia casts a glance at Soziel. The priest's mouth is twist, er, twisted and his fists are clenched. We're happy to welcome you to Dresden, Trevor Vanek. Enough. Soziel lunges at the guest, face distorted with emotion. And you suspect the cleric is about to throw a punch, but his clenched fists remain lowered. Who are you? How dare you call yourself by that name, scoundrel? Who, me? I'm not a scoundrel. People are always bad-mouthing us. There's a saying, the credit won by a lie only lasts until the truth comes out. Trevor Vanek is a proud knight. I won't put up with this slander. So you're an imposter. Me? No. It's not true, I swear. So is yell, is this Trevor? Of course not, but, but how does he know that name, and why is he wearing the black armor, and where? Why do those words? The cleric's voice drops to a whisper, and you don't hear the end of the phrase. And Evie, who is this? A great question, I have no idea. My guys clocked him. When he's trying to threaten a merchant with his so-called order and get a horse for free. Then he gave a familiar name, so I decided to organize a face-to-face -face for the long-lost brothers. You knew it wasn't Trevor, right from the... off. You saw Trevor when he served in Canaveras. Of course. But I hoped that meeting you would make him drop the pretense and crack. Throw him in, out of the city. Please no, he might know something about my brother. Please give me time to talk to him. Soziel is right. We can toss him out whenever we like, but it wouldn't hurt to interrogate the imposter first. Who knows where he's really from and what will come up during the interrogation. You can always get rid of him afterwards. Fine, throw him in prison. I'll deal with him when I have the time. And Nevia takes the imposter away. He follows her unshackled. Soziel watches them leave. His fists unclench and he drops his shoulders. What the? Where did he come from? And did you hear what you said about truth and lies? The priest frowns. The credit won by a lie only lasts until the truth comes out. That's what they say in Andorran. Trevor used to say it often. Of course, one prov er, proverb doesn't mean doesn't prove anything. But I feel that the imposter knows my brother. Oh, Shaylin, what's going on? Commander, please, we have to interrogate him. Yeah, but first we have to go do a reloose thing, and then we'll do that interrogation thing. You can, you can wait a little bit here, Sozio. Watch out for trouble. Off we go. Oh, we didn't rest, did we? We did not. We got caught up in this little. not brotherly dispute because they are not brothers. I'm also going to drop off a bunch of these extra named weapons that we're carting Here's around. An fact. Here's an interesting fact. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm just so salty today. Alright, here we go. Uh, Type in ascending order. So we have... Yeah, uh, yeah, we have all these weapons. So that one can go... Actually, the Agile Hand Axe plus 4 is not a named weapon. We should sell that one. It's also worth a fortune. That is a named weapon. So is that. So is that. The Fang of Mal Malice is actually a pretty cool weapon. Fixed Obsession. Frost. We should... You know what would be a really good character? An axe throwing character. Because there are some really good throwing axes in this game. Momentum. Heart of the Arcane. Actually, the Ricocheting... 
crossbow we may keep with us because it is plus four. And actually, it's probably pretty good for either Darren or um, Ember, maybe. Sequence of Murder we don't need. Sunstroke we don't need. Illustrious Sweep and the Unavoidable Drill. Also not important. I should go through my armor. I'm almost certain I have better armor on me than my current characters are wearing. Let's take a quick look at what we're wielding here. So we got... He's, de he's a medium armorer, so let's put that down there and find him some good armor. Done. He can use the uh, Sanguinius Sundown. That's pretty decent. This is Adamantine Full Plate plus two. This is Carapace plus three. That's fine. I'm going to put this in type in ascending order. Does that sort it into medium, light, and uh, heavy? Medium, medium, light, 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 light. And this, I guess we don't have any heavy armor kicking around. We also have some of these shirts. But we have no one that does polymorph things, so it's not super important. Anyways, um, Soziel is rarely with our group. I'm going to hold off on giving him armor. As for... Wooljif, I mean, we could give him some mithril armor. It does give him arcane spell failure, which is actually bad. Do we have any better arcane spell failure armor? That one, technically. I guess. That's actually pretty okay for him, I guess. Alright, uh, Wendwog can use uh, up to medium armor. But what do I give her? That's actually a really nice set of armor, and I might give that to somebody that's in our current group, like maybe Arilu. Or not Arilu, Arushale. If Arilu was in a group, that'd be kind of interesting for sure. Let's take a look at our main group first. Um, yes, she can wear some of these items, but like they're not useful for her. Like the Shroud of the Eternal Hunger, or any of these will not be useful. But she has Elemental Imbument already, so they don't really matter. Um... He can actually wear armor. What was he wearing before? Delamere's armor. Right, plant domain stuff. The chain shirt does give him one more armor, but does he use plant domain spells? Maybe? I don't remember. Uh, camaraderie, plus two bonus to damage against flanked creatures, or if you have outflanked, the damage once increases to plus four. It's mythical chain plus three. Now we could go with the dry, or chainmail of Dragonfly, which gives a plus one inside bonus to dex and attack rolls against demons for ten rounds uh, once per day. But it's only once per day. It's not that long of a time. Where's Sila? Why is she not front and center in this group? Oh, there she is. What is she wearing for armor? Full plate plus two. I guess we really don't need any of this other armor kicking around. She can't wear armor. She can. We'll give her the Dragonfly armor. She can use... Um, medium armor, at least for now, until we get rid of her. We need to give you something. You can have the chain shirt, because why not? Don't care too much. Um, Wendwog, I'll give you studded, I guess. Oh, actually, looks really cool. To be fair, that armor looks great. That's a great model for armor. I like that. Good enough. Let's go dump the rest of it into our thing, including this Warden of Darkness, because we can't actually use it on anyone. Sila is not evil and can't wield it. I'm going to keep the Divine Protector... No, we don't actually need to. There. Now we've saved ourselves a bunch of uh, weight stuff, and we can sell some things later on. I'm sure we'll meet the um, merchant at some point in time, so I'm just going to leave and not worry too much about having to go find a store right away. Our normal group is going to go head all the way down to Arilu's lab. It is quite the journey. We're looking at like several days to get there, probably. Uh, we're going to the... It's not that one. Where is it? Not the petrified... There he is, the desolate hovel. It's, uh, it's at very least one day and 15 hour journey. Can we move our armies around? Yes, but do we need to move our armies around? I don't think so.
Uh, cursed children, though. Demons have been stealing children in Canabras, possessing their bodies so they can get close enough to the Crusaders to deal a dagger strike. The officers are asking how they should proceed when encountering the possessed. We can do good, which increases our morale, but we receive the vulnerable feat for 30 days. Which gives what? Negative 2 AC. Uh, we can get some military experience, or we can hunt down the kidnappers, which gives us 1500 diplomacy experience points and 60 energy points, but costs us a bunch of materials. But that diplomacy experience is actually kind of nice, so we'll hunt down the kidnappers. That's going to be an event we have to do. Underground Crusaders, a group of mongrels has arrived in Dresden itching to fight. Land worries that the belligerent recruits might ignore orders in battle, lose their heads, and then lose their lives. We can get mongrel sharpshooters or mongrel fighters. To be fair, both are relatively useless, but rain them in, put them in the rear, I guess. We don't have Path of the Angel or Demon. Um, anything going on here? We have one day for Royal Conscription and Enchanting the Dirty Squealer. Which I still find a giggleable worthy name. Because apparently I am 20 years younger than I should be. Alright, let's move. We can hire some troops, but we're not going to bother at the moment. When another demon army pops up, we will. Mm, okay, we're going to pause the video, do the fight. And you know what? I'm just going to jump forward to when we get to the um, the hut. Unless something exciting happens, in which case I'll showcase that. I'll be back shortly. Alrighty, we did end up running into the merchant as I stated we would. I also... Uh, Sold something by accident, so I had to reload this, unfortunately. But, uh, accidentally sold the crossbow. And I was like, wait a minute. I said I wasn't going to sell that. Unfortunately, he doesn't really have anything we want in this particular, um, situation. He has a decent belt, plus four con, plus four combat points on CMB, and, uh, for bull rush and overrun combat maneuvers, as well as immunity to trip, which is nice. Although it's not a big deal in this game. Frozen scales are actually pretty good. Plus three scale male barding gives fire resistance and partial concealment against ranged attacks. There's also a crow. I think we sold the crows of shortbow, honestly. Or maybe he had it, I don't remember. Anyways, uh, flaming ammunition as well, which is okay. It's really all though. It's not the greatest one. Let's uh, switch this up. Let's do exotic wares from a faraway land. And we're going to get out of here. So I just want to show that we did end up finding the merchant, and we did end up sending, or selling some things. His hunter gear, not the best, unfortunately. We'll deal with uh, him next time, I guess. We're gonna probably reach there this... Before we have to rest again? Maybe? It is a possible... No, we are just on the edge. We can still go in, though. There's no point in resting just yet. We can start little place and then maybe go into the laboratory a little bit before we have to rest. It's only our non-melee characters that are a little fatigued. I'm gonna go ahead and F5 this because you never know. I don't remember what's here. An old hoot. Let's go inside. Moonshiner hut, as I Watch believe. An old cauldron with the smell of alcohol still lingering around it. It is smashed beyond repair. But that's not what we're here for. The coverlet on the bed looks like it would crumble to dust at the slightest touch. Bunch of random stuff. And we're in... We're in a trap, allegedly. There's a lore check. There's a projector. There is a bookshelf, which we can loot. Let's do the lore check first. My Many of the bodies in the jars are those of tieflings or half fiends. Many of them are now strangely deformed or show multiple stitches and incisions. Interesting. Let's press the projector. Before you is some kind of magical device. It looks old and broken. A large, oddly shaped crystal is wedged tightly into a slot in the device. I'm touching it. Day 16. Abadius 4662. 
Experiment transformation. Subject young male, half fiend. Objective to study the properties of hybrid souls. Desired result to see the same results that were previously achieved on full fledged demons. <laughs> Suture, bring me one more crystal. I believe I'm almost there. And there's Sutra. Ah, it's you. Good. Very good. The dredge demon that appears before you is a pitiful specimen, even for its own ilk, which are distinguished by neither strength nor terrifying appearance. His peeling skin is covered in scars, and his hands are twisted at an odd angle and have a slight tremor. But he stretches his mouth in an approximation of a grin. Have a look around. Go ahead. Meet the locals. They're not the best housemates, but there's never a dull moment. You like it. Here with us is definitely the place for you. I've seen you before. You were disguised as a halfling. You spoke to me in Canabras before Discari attacked. How did you... Maybe I was disguised. Maybe I did speak to you. Flat lot I use that knowledge will do you. Do you think now I'll just bare my soul and reveal all my secrets and whatnot? You can think again. Who are you? Me? Why do you want to know? They call me the Suture. I'm the custodian of this place. The big, big expert, you know? With big, what you call it, uh, expertise. I know all there is to know about it. Things nobody else knows. The demon seems truly puzzled by the question. You know, you really don't look like a baddie. You're funny, but sad. Oh, I'm awful bad. Just too weak to do much about it. Do you think it's easy to do bad things in this mangy body? Maybe I could wage a genocide against the lab's rat population. A bloody one! The demon snarls unconvincingly, showing off his crooked teeth, which makes Ember giggle. Don't go making friends with the demons, dear Ember. Even with that charming smile of his, I do believe he would snatch you away and gobble you up if given half a chance. He wouldn't, but he would scare me. I'd ask him to come with us, but he won't come. I can tell. Ember smiles cheerfully. You're a strange lot, aren't you? And I definitely won't be going anywhere with you. You'd probably gobble me up if given half a chance. What is this place, demon? What? You mean you don't know? It's my lady Arilu's. Her old laboratory. She used to live here back when she was still mortal. Before those Sarkorian dogs came and took her and tossed her into the threshold. But they only found the house. They never got into the lab. The demon's voice trembles oddly. My lady came back here, after, when the Abyss had already bitten off a chunk of your world and Sarkoris had become the world wound. But she never liked this place, and she abandoned it many years ago, along with everyone in this place too. You can enter here, but leaving is impossible. Impossible? That's why all the people abandoned here got out of their cages and started living as best they could. You'll see. That's if you can get through. The lady placed barriers here that only let demons through. They don't keep me out, but you're gonna have trouble trying to break through. I heard there's a knack to it though, so keep trying. I've heard of you, succubus. The barriers won't let you through, so don't even think about trying. You might be a demon, but you've got Desna's stink all over you. Pew! The dredge peers at Rushalay. Arilu? Borlesh lived here. This is where she summoned the abyss. It terrifies me to even think of what could go so wrong in a mortal soul to make them choose to become a demon. Arushale shudders and moves closer to you, almost brushing your shoulder. She whispers. Lady Vorlesh was here, and now she's gone. What terrible luck. What a horrid confluence of circumstances. The questions I have for her already run to a dozen pages. Nenio <sighs> sighs. To be honest. Glad she's not here. I'm afraid of her. I'm afraid of the moment when we'll meet face to face. The succubus drops her head. Her whisper is barely audible. Don't be afraid. It will be the end. Either of her or of us. If it's the end of her, that means we'll have won. And there's nothing to be afraid of. If it's the end of us, then we'll be dead. 
and we'll have nothing to worry about anymore. So there's no point in being afraid now, either. I mean, that's technically true. Here, here, girl. Fear is a foolish, pointless emotion that stands in the way of all that is new and unexplored. Could I have conducted so many experiments if I thought about how terrifying it was to stand atop the cupola of the Cathedral of Iomade? Or if I thought, this troll is definitely going to bite my head off if I creep inside its mouth while it's asleep? No. Why did you start talking to me? Out of boredom. I've been stuck in here a long time. We don't see new faces very often, but it does happen. People come across this place by accident, wriggle inside, and then can't get out again. And isn't it a good thing I learned to speak your language? You won't find a dredge as educated as the old Sucha here. The demon grins. Can you tell me how to get out of here by chance? Maybe I'll tell you. What harm will it do? But first, go and take a look around. The answer's not as simple as you might think. I have things to do. Be careful. This place is dangerous. It hides many things that have never been seen beneath your sun. It is not my land. But it isn't yours either. Okay, bye. He does open a door for us, which is kind of nice. That one specifically. Well, let's save. Quickly check the corner of the rooms for perception checks. In case one of them pops up for some reason. I don't think there are any in here, but I don't remember well enough to... Make a definitive answer on that. Although, the fact that we... There was a perception check. See? Good to check. Vast intelligence plus four, which is good for uh, Nenny, unless she already has one. She has plus two. Perfect. We have a bonus. Out we go into the hall. There are doors on either side of us. Some of them will lead to enemies like these shadow demons, who I do not recall if they need death ward to fight. But I'm going to go with probably... Luckily, we have lots of level 4 spells to go around. Ooh, if not, they will break against our well, that was unfortunate. How did that happen? I will resist. Almost killed that one in one go. Oh, here comes another one. It doesn't look like they do. But I don't know yet. It didn't die. The inheritor, guide my Those are some terrible attack rolls. Okay, fine. That was a lot of misses. And let's back up. We can evil eye this one and see if our main character can hit it. I'll just have to resort to brute the answer force. to that is yes. Prepare yourself. Um. Apparently, you can bone shaker shadow demons, which is. I mean, it's weird to me, but fair enough. More horses and only have one hit point. The light take you. So it comes to Anyways, they're all dead. We didn't need death ward after all. I'm up for an adventure. There's a thing here. You're a good person. I like you. We hit it, but it didn't do anything. We're gonna give ourselves. What? Nothing? I will prove my worth. It's just casting a bunch of spells. We're dominated. Nenio's dominated? No, who got dominated? Darren. Now. Let's go find the shadow demon. It's here somewhere. It's got concealment. I should have just walked into it previously, but whatever. You've made your choice. Well, now that we're slowed, we're definitely going to do haste. Get rid of slow at least. Um, we can try to dispel it. We have a bunch of dispel magics. We've dispelled invisibility. That's pretty much the only one we needed to dispel. Thank 
Thank you for amusing me. Darren, you're being very annoying. The Inheritor! Guide my blade! No fear! It's a lot of mirror images. Oh, well, this has become slightly more annoying now. I'm trying to spell anything else for me. Good hope is gone. Make your peace. We missed all of our attacks. Darren's gonna kill Ember. The light take you. Seela can't have anything to say for her life right now. Our main character is confused and we're all glitter dusted. We have frost novas and stuff going off. Or frost whatever. Just cure yes. character. I will resist. Disappear. At least uh, try to entertain me. <laughs> Okay, it hits hard. Wasn't necessarily expecting that. Prepare yourself. Our attack rolls could be slightly better. That would be good. I'll just have to resort to brute force. Still concealment. Well, there's last stand already. We need Tony's to hit with ranged touch attacks. It's got lots of life. I'll give it that. Darren's free and clear again. We can heal everyone a little bit. Sila is not free and clear. There we go. It vanished. We need to be more careful about that in the future. We took a lot of unnecessary damage there. That's fine though. Speed, cold iron, rapier. What are you guys receiving damage from? Anyways, Glitter Dust should wear itself off shortly. Our main character will heal himself up. I don't remember this thing coming to life and killing us, but that's not to say it won't. Cloak of the Ancient Herald is a plus two bonus of persuasion. And whenever they channel to harm, the affected creatures have to pass a will save or be dazed for one round. It's actually not the worst thing. It's good for uh, weak undead to stun them. I found uh, something. Where's the trap? Oh, there it is. I see it. Uh, all right. I must part with everything demonic. Where in is uh, the Desna? Please allow the me to disarm keep portion of this thing. Oh, it's up there around the corner. Okay. I finished here. Is there Moving more? up a little. There's an open door which has lots of things inside of it. What are they? Rat swarms. Literally the worst thing it could possibly be. Freaking hate swarms. Stand in the door and hope they don't get to you. I'm not going in there. However, we will flame strike. I will do anything I can to kill all these swarms before they murder us. Maybe not double Sirico. That seems like a lot. that seems excessive. One of them's gone completely. Two of them are gone completely. Something's going on in there. There's a Terry Demondand from behind us. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Here it comes. Oh no, it survived. That's not going to do anything. Oh, we can't reach both of them. need to kill swarms. Priority one attack. Alright, um, can you hit this guy? I mean a little. No, he survived too. Oh no, he's, he's fine. He's gonna die. Let's kill this guy. 
Let's uh, just casually free we just been, hit him in the face. Our main kicker, in theory, should finish him off. Of course he didn't, because why would we want that? And then he died instantly. We couldn't just get that last hit. No, of course not. Now I gotta redo the whole fight. Because we got... How much damage? 51 damage because of a critical hit. On a roll of 17. Which I guess isn't that abnormal, but... Still annoying. Alright. Again. Maybe we just double here go this room. We just open up on this guy and make sure he dies. Hmm, or not. Oh, we're in a surprise round. That's why. Never mind. Just move up a little bit. And then you're gonna come up to nowhere. Just do a bit of fun and then move up five feet. Rebooters being that chump. Nope, next turn. He's coming in though. And that rat is free, and so is that one's not. Okay. Move. Prepare yourself. We almost killed that rat. Uh, or a five foot step this way. Evil eye him. It's gotta be Nenio's turn at some point, right? gonna die to that guy. Probably. <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Got a bit of a cold or something. It's very irritating. And here comes the death again. Even with a bit of fun we almost died. Oh, come on. Go away! Stop doing dumb shit to my group. Um... I guess we could just try and fire... We got one hit. Get up. And then don't do anything, because you can't. How did he hit us back? See, Liz at least got last stand, I guess. Make your peace. Since apparently, we can't hit this thing. Is there still rats or something around? No, that's the end of the fight. Okay. Everyone gather up. Grab the. He's only got masterwork swords, and he was just tearing us apart because, of course, the AI cheats don't run in there. That's a stupid idea. The AI cheats an awful lot in this game. Get rid of the Circos. Moving into the room, there's some Knowledge Organa check in here. And some extra loot, including an ancient scrap of script-covered leather. Which we need for, uh... I'm prepared. I'm always open to ideas. Crafting yes. something later, I believe. What is she got? Powerless pro- oh, right. Okay, yeah. Wait, what? You are staggered for one round of combat. This effect is removed on arrest. You oh, put Powerless Prophecy on her, you dumb idiot with your stupid bow. In that one moment where he was dominated. Oh, that's just a piss off. Oh, well, fine. It's fine. I was like, wait, why does she have the weird debuff? Because Darren. It'll go away on a rest, but still, it's kind of annoying. Let's uh, Knowledge Arcana this. A step to a Let's reload and knowledge arcana this. We'll get there. It's fine. There's only some minor annoyance at the rolls in this game. Actually, maybe it's not the rolls' fault. Let's take a quick glance at our modifier. Maybe it's our fault for not being good at it. 
No, we only need to roll eight. We roll an abnormal amount of ones on skill checks. A failure is just a step to a success. One. Right? One. Because... We'll never roll two crits in a row. We'll never roll two natural 20s, but we can roll like three or four natural or ones, I guess, in a row. It went splendidly. There we go. The device was used in experiments on demons. We rolled a what? A 10. We didn't even get a good roll. We got a decidedly average roll. No reason to pause. Is this openable? It is. That leads downstairs to the old wing. Let's not go there yet. There's more things on this floor to look through, including... Oh, right. These things are so annoying to fight. I'm always open to ideas. Well, let's do some things like heroism. It's time for that. I guess it's time to put some good buffs on. And then maybe a little bit of like a displacement on our main character. And then some save. Then maybe a haste. I remember these things sucking a lot to fight. Watch out for that subsonic hum, I believe, is really bad for us. The inheritor, Everyone except for Stila failed the saving throw. What was the saving throw, by the way? DC 29. Okay, we need to reload. We need to give her displacement because she's going to die. I know that the subsonic come, I think, only lasts for one turn, though. Meaning that we should be okay after that first turn. We can't have her instantly die. Because I don't think she has last stand anymore. Did everyone fail this time? No, Arilu or Arushale did okay. She needs to move like this way. I will resist. Decent first round. Down, down. It's moving up. Let's get some skeletons to soak up some hits if we can. We're not going to be any good at this, but at least they should, in theory be able to take up some of our hits for us. Let's... Oh, right. Are we on a surprise? Oh, she's staggered because of that stupid thing, right? No! That skeleton gone the way. Well, it did soak up a hit, just not the one I was hoping it would. Technically, it worked, I guess. Um... Freebooter's Bane... Heal everyone a little. Don't move in yet. More skeletons. Now we can probably enlarge character on our main character and move him back five feet. So that maybe the skeletons will soak up the damage because the uh, statue or the uh, thing won't be able to get through. Although, Ember's here. Okay, now we're good. So do this. Enlarge. Subsonic hum is on. Let's move back a little. I'm out of range, but that's fine. We'll do that next turn. Guide my hand. Um. No glory. Yeah, just stay back. We can enlarge you in a second. The skeleton did die. More of them need to be summoned then. The solution for skeletons dying is simply more skeletons. Nenya will eventually be able to move again, I hope. And we're going to enlarge Sila too. Great. I wanted that to happen. I love it when... There's a random debuff that just kills you instantly. Because you get turned into crystal. New plan. We start the fight, right? By some by enlarging people, first of all. Let's get that started. Why is it always when I try and enlarge someone that this fight starts out? 
that any fight starts out. It's really weird. Like, they'll all be standing in a line, and Darren won't move into range of anything, or I guess, uh, I think it was Ember in the first time, but like, the fight just starts. I'll move back a couple feet. Because I guess we can technically Watch see them there. There. Now the fight starts, I will be very concerned, because it shouldn't, in theory. Yes, what? Start. You're a good person. I like it. Okay. And we're starting to fight with these. Or not. Keep going then. Alrighty then. Okay. Fight started. I don't know if anyone got stunned, because I think we were around the corner from it, and I think the skeletons are all immune to it. It's not ideal that they're all walking into the room, but at least there's lots of them, so hopefully we can pour our units into the room as well and hit them from afar. Again, I'd like to note that we are not expecting our champions to do any damage. They won't. They're really bad in terms of stats, like... Awful. Awful units. But anyways, um... The point is... For them to do as much damage, or uh, to do soak up as much hits, as many hits as they can. That's their goal in life. Okay, we did some damage to that one. Let's go punch it. I don't know what just happened, but nobody is dying yet, so I'll count that as a victory. You only need to roll a six and you roll three ones in a row? That is indicative of my luck. Three critical misses in a row. It wasn't like one, two, three. It was literally one, one, one. No. Hey, I hit. Amazing. Into the fray. One down finally. So it comes to this. Almost dead. Skeleton trapped. Their skeletons are still dying, that's fine. This is exactly what we want the skeletons for. They're just meant to sit there and die. And do free damage. Which actually was a surprising amount for the skeletons to do. The light take you. Nope. That didn't work out the way it- Oh, finally. There we go. We killed the crystals. Worst fight. Well, it's not the worst, but it's an anno annoying fight, that's for sure. It isn't clear if this breach appeared while the laboratory was still in use or after its abandonment, but the scratch marks and bloodstains around the edge indicate that it might have been tried as a potential escape route. Keep your calm. Let's go into the next room. We have very limited time left on this video. Look at that, we got some expedition boots which are plus 10 competence bonus on athletics and plus 5 on mobility as well. Probably gonna give those to Sila. Elven notes, which are for, of course, the storyteller. Anything else in here that perception checky? No? Okay, we're moving on then. Quick save. Next door. It is another lab. It has no enemies in it that I can see at the moment. So let's loot it all. We need this midnight bolt. It's very important. Um, we're gonna grab this loot, which is on midnight bolts. All of our skeletons just vanished. That's fine. It's not abnormal to have happen when they've been around for a couple minutes. Just kind of want to finish a tiny bit more. I sense something. There is a tarp in here. I too sense the tarp. 
How do we undo the tarp? It's over in that corner. Okay. I'm trusting you. Let's go deal with that. I'm glad I was useful to you. There are some scribble pages from Rilu's laboratory and some other junk. Nothing really of note there. We're almost at um the angel. The cave in looks like it happened a long time ago. The rocks and rubble have been compressed into it, almost into a single mass. Targon is here. Behind a barrier, frozen in what seems like a weakly glowing liquid or a magical glimmer, is a woman with long, silvery hair. At her back, you can see a single white wing and some kind of dark, broken shadow. Haggard figures huddle around the woman. A dwarf in a ragged robe scarcely notices you. He sits on the floor, running his fingers over the leaves of the plant that is growing between the slabs. Like one would normally stroke a beloved cat or dog, next to him is the unmoving figure of an elf who is covered in scars and doesn't even take his eyes off of you. The third member of the group is an old man with a long, scraggly beard who is dressed in old armor. He turns quickly to face you, brandishing a rusty sword. Who are you? Another conniving wretch who serves the traitor? Don't come any closer. Calm down. I'm the commander of the Crusaders from Dresden, and I mean you no harm. A commander from Dresden? Can it be true? Have they come for us at last? The old man seems stunned. It's more likely that this is yet another unfortunate who's fallen into the trap. The elf smiles gloomily. Hello, I suppose, commander from Dresden. I point at the angel. What's wrong with her? We found her like this, and we couldn't break through the barrier. She must be sleeping, or at least immobilized. We call her the Protectress. A priest from Bravoy came up with the name. He used to be one of our brotherhood here until the demons got him about seven years back. We call her the Protectress because the angel's aura, even cage, protects us from the demons. The place is still crawling with them. We try not to stray too far from her. She's always keeping us alive now. Who are you? We're the only survivors. The only ones apart from the monsters and demons, I mean. The old fellow's a crusader. He ended up here accidentally around 20 years ago. He camped out in the ruins of a house, found the magic door, and came through it. But of course he couldn't get out again. I'm one of the last to have been brought here by Arilu herself. She literally dragged me out of the demon's jaws, and I don't even know what she wanted me for. She kept me in a magical sleep most of the time, and then she lost interest in the laboratory. And the druid, the one making friends with the plants and the roots, he's been here since the very beginning. I think he's from Sarkoris, but he's half mad and wasn't a talker even back when I first met him. So we don't know his name or any other details about him. He grows food for us and he doesn't talk. He's the best neighbor you could hope for. Arilu left people alive down here? She just abandoned the place? That's right, she opened the cages but sealed away the way out from the outside. What else were you expecting from the architect of the world wound? Compassion and mercy? Sometimes I think that leaving us here was just another one of her experiments. Or just rats in a maze. So have you tried to get out of here? Countless times, by whatever means we could think of, nothing worked. Maybe if we'd had a powerful cleric or spellcaster among us, then again, it seems unlikely if Arilu imprisoned an actual angel down here so easily, doesn't it? The elf nods towards the unmoving winged woman. We can't even explore the whole laboratory. Some of the passages are blocked by barriers that only let demons through. How have you survived? With difficulty. There were more of us before, subjects of Arilu's experiments, mortals and demons and other abominations. When she left and we were all freed, it was chaos. The demons killed everyone they could, and then they turned on each other. The mortals who survived set up a base here. The druid grew food for us. The others kept the demons at bay and tried to find the way out. New arrivals would appear rarely. Unlucky travelers or reckless adventurers who ended up here by accident. As you can see, we're the only ones who survived. Can you tell me anything useful about this place? It might be wishful thinking, but I guess that there is some way to get through the barriers blocking us. We tested them so many times, they only allow full-blooded demons to pass through them. Except... The barriers were here long before Arilu abandoned the lab, which means that she was able to walk through them somehow. Maybe she had a key we can look for. Who knows? There's one more thing. I've heard the demons, the sentient ones, mention something called the Lexicon of Paradox. I don't know what it is, but they talked about it like it was an artifact of some kind. A relic. In other words, something valuable. So it's possible that it could help us get out of here, but I don't have the slightest idea what it is or where to look for it. I'm going to find a way out of this place. Don't you worry. We can go down to the heart of the laboratory or into the old wing. I think the heart is the easiest way to go, but I don't think that we can go that way. The fog enveloping you seems at once as thick as soup yet almost transparent. Strange silhouettes emerge in the fog. You blink and see someone standing next to you. Blink again and there's no one there. Voices can be heard in the fog, young and old, men and women, loud and barely audible. They say disconnected phrases, but not in unison. One voice may start, and then another finishes it. Closer. Closer this way. 
With us, you won't be alone. Why aren't you coming? Why can't we see you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Silence stretches on for a few moments. Who are we? Who am I? Am I? What are you doing to us? We won't open you up. Wrong. Wrong. Be gone, illusion. Power roils within you, bursting free, piercing through the eerie fog and hurtling forward to the source of it, and slams into it. Hear the howl of many voices, then the fog dissipates and the voices subside. We are going to save here. This is as good a place as any. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you next time. Take care.